Welcome to another tutorial on Easy Worship 2009 brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about video backgrounds and codecs. There's a lot of confusion when folks go to sites, resource sites, and purchase video backgrounds or mini movies and not quite understanding what size or what file format they need. So I'm going to explain that in this quick tutorial here. So first of all, let's talk about the sizes. Fortunately, all the worship resource sites have uh, really um, settled on a nomenclature, 480p, 720p, and 1080p. What this means is it means the, the size of your video. In this case, 480p is your old television style 4-3 aspect ratio more of the square box here and it's 640 by 480 screen resolution and of course you know all the formats are available and uh, and popular in the 480p world MOV, MPEG and WMV and I'm going to talk about this in the next slide the different formats 720p is your widescreen 16:9 aspect ratio and the screen resolution is 1280 by 720 and again this is 720p so you notice 480p 720 P, right so there you go 1080p now we recommend MOV H264 for your encoding for the compression because that maintains the highest quality for your video backgrounds over MPEG or WMV so uh, again we we actually uh, provide only the H264 format for 720 and 1080p now the big difference between the two here is really the type of projector that you have available to project the different resolutions of HD format backgrounds so if you have a 1080p with high very high lumens very bright very brilliant projector then 1080p will be great uh, awesome to use most of the time, um, worship service or the sanctuary does not have a projector that is capable of really displaying the beauty of a 1080p video background. And right now in the, uh, in the worship resource world or community, 720p is the popular format. And in fact, Worship Media Pro currently only has 720p for HD as well for very good reasons. Even if you had a 1080p capable projector, it will still look amazing on the 720p. It is something to see. It's, it's great. And it's also going to allow you to have that widescreen. Again, H.264 for the format. So here are the different popular file formats that you're going to see when you go to different worship resource sites. Worship Media Pro really just focuses on these two. We do have a couple of collections that, that have the WMV, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So MOV is by far the best choice. It's H.264 compression, which is also known as MPEG-4, and it's great for HD video uh, backgrounds. It's actually recommended by us for HD video backgrounds. Now, the nice thing about uh, uh, H.264 is even though it's not native to Easy Worship, meaning it, you, you can't just install Easy Worship and be able to play H.264 uh, videos, all you need to do is download a free K-Lite codec, and I'm going to talk about the different codecs in actually this slide here. And, uh, and this, this K-Lite codec is, uh, again, free, and it's basically, think of it as your interpreter, your translator for your MOV files to play and be presented on Easy Worship. MPEG-1 is native to Windows, native to Easy Worship. It's a very old compression, and it really only looks good on 480p backgrounds. We do not recommend it for HD playback. You're just going to lose a lot of um, quality if you try to compress a 720p, very large widescreen um, uh, video background into MPEG-1. And then WMV is great, but WMV is really uh it, it's a windows windows media and and it has a digital rights management it's a non-standard mpeg4 it can play hd that's for sure but it's a very large file very bloated with a bunch of uh information you don't need so it takes a lot longer to even uncompress it and deliver it to the screen and based on the speed and performance of your machine 
uh, you could have some problems with WMV files. So we recommend not using WMV files. We recommend sticking with the first two, MOV and MPEG-1. And that's predominantly what we're sticking with uh, selling on Worship Media Pro site. So codecs are a simple way to understand what a codec is, is it's simply a middleware. It's a translator. So you have this one, you know, you have this person speaking one language and you have the translator translating this person's spoken language to you so you can understand it. Well, that translator is the codec. That is the one that's uncompressing, decompressing your MOV file or your WMV file and then presenting it through Easy Worship. Now, part of compression is lossy and lossless. Not really necessary to know, but basically how compression works is it removes a bunch of redundant data and then through algorithms, you know, black spaces, white spaces, just stuff that's redundant, redundant headers on top of the stream itself. And then through an algorithm, it represents it and creates this impression that the data was never lost. So that's lossy. Lossless is preserving everything. You'll never see, uh, really you'll never see, hopefully you won't, uh, video backgrounds that are lossless. Because lossless is basically zero loss of data. It's a, it's a completely preserved stream and very, very big. So that's it on codecs. Nothing really you need to get in uh, into details on, but you do need the K-Lite codec to present H.264 style backgrounds. So let's talk about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out of my um, PowerPoint here. And we're going to jump into, uh, first of all, we're going to go to the K-Lite website. So this is the K-Lite website. I'm going to put a link on the tutorial page. And I wanted to show it to you because if you go here, you might think, well, this is like, looks like a kid's website. You know, this is really where I go. And it actually is really where you go. Uh, you want to download the basic one because all you want to do is be able to play back MOV files and MPEG-4 files, right? That's your, that's your main goal. So just get the basic. That's all you need. And when you install it, you want to restart your computer and then you want to uh, reinitialize Easy Worship again. And Easy Worship will identify you installed the K-Lite codec. And how you can verify your, your K-Lite codec is working is in this case, I just brought in an MOV. If I hover over here, you'll see uh, the dot MOV on this file. So I'm going to hit play here. It takes a second for it to initialize and you'll see it pop up on the uh, the preview panel here. I'll make it loop as well. So let's make sure it starts to loop there. There we go. All right, so perfect, I'm gonna pause it and um, now I'm gonna go to help and I'm gonna go to video codec troubleshooting and ah, there it is. There is the K-Lite codec in action and it uh, initiated the playback MP4, H.264. There you go. So that's it. Hopefully that made a lot of sense. Straightforward, real easy to do. Remember, you need the K-Lite codec to play H.264s. Be sure to visit our website, worshipmediapro.com, and view all of our HD and 480p uh, backgrounds. God bless.